It's January 24 and I'm loving these 100 watt equivalent bulbs from Home Bargains. One, because I don't think I'll beat the price. £6 for two, that's £3 each. And two, they're being honest about the brightness, the lumens, and they've pumped it up to 15, over 1,500 lumens because we've been living in darkness ever since we got these green lights. And here's a graph to show you how Home Bargains have changed over the years. I'll show it later on. But the point is, uh, we used to have 100 watt incandescent bulbs and they had a certain brightness. But uh, then we got fluorescent bulbs and now we're on to LED bulbs. But they've always, we've been plunged into darkness because they're, uh, they're not getting the lumens right, the brightness. So uh, home bargains have thrown in a towel and went up to 13 and a half watts now, which is good. I see that other shops are still selling them at 7 watts and that, but you, you can't seem to get the lumens out of it. So 1,500 lumens, I would be looking at for that brightness, because brightness is lumens, you know, but then you don't know if they're being accurate or not. So I'm very happy with this. This is an E27 screw-in bulb, you know, and here I'll, I'll show you this graph. Yeah, here it is. So, we went from 100 watts incandescent and then we went to down to about 6 watts or something that was meant to be the same as 100 watt incandescent, but it never was. We were plunged into darkness because brightness is lumens, so you should really be looking at that. And as you can see here, home bargains have went from 806 up to 1500 now with their new one. And it's interesting that in 9 and 10 they say they're both 806 because uh, watts is volts times amps. Power. and now they're saying at 13 and a half they can get almost double that you know maybe they can because they're, they're going to improve you know the led things i'm glad we're on leds now but uh, we need a bit of brightness in our lives and if you've got a bayonet fitting you can buy these adapters this is for a screw in e27 onto a b22 bayonet if you've got a bayonet fitting in, it's usually b22 for ceiling lights and that I've moved to screw bulbs just because I think that's the way it's going, you know. I mean, B22 will still be around the bayonet at once, but uh, any new fittings will probably be screw bulbs. So you can see this is a daylight one at 6,500 Kelvin. There's three now. There's the warm, traditional warm yellow one that's around about 2,500K. Then you've got daylight, I think they call it, or cool. And this is a 13.5 watt bulb. This tells you nothing. I've basically given up on this part of the video. Yeah, it's nice and bright, guys. And it goes on and off pretty quick. And I'll compare it to the 9 watts and the 10 watts one. So this 9 is, watts, 9, 9. So this is poor 9 ones. I see in other shops that they're selling them at 7 watts, the 100 watts. Uh, incandescent equivalent, quote equivalent, but uh, I never found that you could get the lumens out of those ones so low. I used to order 15 watt LED bulbs online. 10 that. watts, 10, 10. So this is a 10 watt bulb LED. Can't really tell any from this. Yeah, so the home bargains, you're getting I don't think you'll beat the price either. I was surprised. I thought online I would get these sort of bulbs for two pounds or something, but you can't. Now, I don't know if the bulb went up in price or if I was being unrealistic. So about three pound of bulbs the best you'll get, I think. I don't know about buying in bulk and stuff, but so that's good value for thirteen me. watts. So this is thirteen and a half watts actually. Nice and bright. I, I promise to paint my ceiling. I will. Uh, yeah, this, I just thought of focus that doesn't really tell you anything. I was going to do this part of the video side by side and all that, and then when I saw the footage, I thought, oh, forget it. Next time I'll maybe use a table lamp or something. So here's just some random thingies. This is a 10 watt compared to the 9 watt. And uh, I prefer daylight colours. There's 6,500 Kelvin. You've got daylight, you've got cool. I don't know, it's cool 4,000 Kelvin or something. 
and uh, warm is 2,500 or something. I mean, the, the closer you get to, the lower you get in the Kelvins, the more you get to the yellow side, and the higher up you go, the more you get to the blue. So I prefer the blue white rather than the yellow white. I don't know why people are still using the warm ones, to be honest. It looks really dull when you see it. And so that's just, this new bulb's quite a bit bigger. I think Home Bargain's so their own. You know, you can't get Illuminate anywhere else, I don't think other than home bargains, but they're 13 and a half, they're great value for money and they're, uh, give you brightness, let there be light, and I don't think you'll get any cheaper. These bulbs are just shaped like this, the incandescent ones, they have, it was to keep the gas in, but these don't have gas or anything in them, so they're just copying the shape really, I suppose it's to scatter the light downwards and that as well, you know. So there you go, I've written in mine so I know what's what. And that. I mean, I could just unscrew that top bit off. Although it doesn't unscrew off, I think it's glued on. But anyway, that's it. So home bargains, you won't beat it for price or, or brightness. Let there be light.